Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the 19th Sunday in the ordinary time. We have to recognize God's presence in every moment of our existence. Recognizing God's presence will make us able to live our life to the fullest and our lives attuned to Him. The first reading gives the narrative of Prophet Elijah. God told Elijah that he is passing by. And so there was the experience of the wind, strong wind, the earthquake, the fire, but he was not there. And then there was the, uh, the experience of a gentle breeze. Uh, there is a tiny whispering sound of the wind and God was there. And so Prophet Elijah went to the entrance of the cave. So in our daily lives, we have to be attentive to the presence of God. We have to anticipate that there is always the presence of God and that God wants to talk to us. Many times in our life, we think that the presence of God only can be experienced in sensational events and things like strong wind or earthquake or fire. No. God's presence is in the ordinary events, is in the ordinary things. And we have therefore to be attentive to it in silence. And God's presence is many times in, in the, so to say, unknown rather than in the famous. So we have therefore to develop our awareness for the presence of God. And that is why when we come to the gospel, the gospel is not only a teaching about stronger faith in having more faith and trust in Jesus. Yeah, this is the theme. But there is also a theme that must not be overlooked. And many times this is overlooked in this gospel. The theme of the revelation of the divine presence. The theme that Jesus is divine. Jesus is the incarnate God. And therefore, all the, the elements around uh, this narrative are there in order just to exalt, to reveal the presence of the divine. He came from prayer, conversation with the Father. And then he walked on water. And then once he, he put Peter into the boat, the wind died down. He has authority over everything. He is God. Believing in God means also that He is present in every moment of our existence. Therefore, we have to be attentive and to make our lives always attuned to His presence. Not being able to recognize His presence not being able to acknowledge God's presence in our lives will be likened as what in the second reading tells us. St. Paul has this great anguish, great sorrow in relation to his people, meaning to the chosen people of God, the Jewish people, the Israelites, because they have not recognized the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Although they were waiting for the Messiah, the anointed one of God, and yet when He came, they were not able to accept Him. They were not able to believe in Him. And St. Paul is in anguish. You see, when we, when we will not recognize the presence of God, yes, okay, we believe, but if we do not put that into practice, trust in His presence in our daily lives, then, then we are losing everything. We, mi we are missing everything. Not recognizing the presence of God in our lives is losing ourselves because precisely we are alive because God makes us alive. You see, in this 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time, let us therefore make Two things, consider two things in response to the Word of God today. Develop first and foremost 
develop this awareness of the presence of God. It is not automatic. Yes, you and I believe, we believe, we love God, etc. But it is not automatic that we are always aware of the presence of God. That we have the, the strong, strong disposition and condition to the presence of the divine. That is why we commit sin. We fall into many foolishness because we are not always in the mindset of the presence of God. If we are always and have the disposition to the presence of the divine, then we will discipline ourselves. Whatever we think, God knows. Whatever we will say, God listens. Whatever we are going to do, God sees. In this way, we will see to it. We are composed. We have dominion over our whole being. In this way, what will happen, we will be obedient to God instead of disobedient. We will be more pleasing to God instead of doing what we want and therefore offending God. We will be more indeed listening to God rather than not listening to Him. The awareness of the presence of God can change our lives, change our mentality, and everything in our lives, we will live our life to the fullest because indeed we will be walking in the path of the Lord. Presence of God, if we can have that awareness, develop this awareness. The second thing is prayer life. Prayer, prayer, prayer. You see, Jesus Christ in the gospel and mentioned he prayed. And so if Jesus Christ prayed, he's the son of God, we the children of God in him, we must have to pray. And prayer anchors us to the presence of God. That is why we have to develop moments of prayer. Prayer in the morning, prayer in mid-morning, prayer in the midday, prayer in mid-afternoon, prayer in the evening, prayer before going to bed. These moments of prayer, though very short, would it really uh, be a big deal if we give maybe on our Father, one hell bear, even glory be, taking that small time from our whatever time we are doing, uh, praying the Holy Rosary, reading a scripture passage, whatever we do in this in times of prayer, they anchor us to God and anchor us to His presence. Therefore, develop, develop moments of prayer during the day so that just as we are anchored to God's presence in our waking hours, then at our sleeping hours, we are in His hands as well. And that is why pray, pray. Amen. In the, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe if you have done so. Give us a thumbs up and share this video to others.